Hi everyone, let me introduce myself first. My name is Masahiro Matsui, software engineer at Japan Dental Science Consortium and master course student at the University of Tokyo. Today, I'm here to talk to you about Alpha SQL, open source software providing dependency resolution and validation for SQL and data. I'd like to share a roadmap of what I'm planning to cover today. This talk will be divided into two parts. The first point is the problems of SQL and data I wanted to solve using Alpha SQL. And the second point is the introduction of Alpha SQL, which can be used for resolving dependencies between plain SQL and data and visualizing dependencies as a directed acyclic graph parallelizing SQL queries and validating SQL and data. By the end of this talk, you will be familiar with the problem of SQL and data and will be able to easily solve those problems using Alpha SQL. So as a first point, I would like to talk about the dependency hell of SQL and data. Dependency help is a word traditionally used for the frustration of some software users who have struggled, struggled with managing many dependent packages. However, the dependency help of SQL and data are also common in recent years. This is caused by complex data processing, data processing and processing for machine learning. For example, we can implement machine learning models using Apache Hive mode, BigQuery ML, Redshift ML, and Pressed ML. And these fantastic solutions can generate more and more SQL queries and data. The typical pains of dependency help of SQL and data, uh, changing schema of SQL queries and data, changing schema of SQL queries and data, and cyclic dependencies. Oh, sorry. Changing schema of SQL queries and data, and complex dependency resolution by hand, and cyclic dependencies. Let's see some examples. As a visual example, our project has a tag like this. It should be very difficult to manage these dependencies by hand. Simple example like this, actually more difficult than it seems to be because the dependency graph contains not only the SQL queries, but also tables which are generated by the SQL queries. Also, things will get worse with user-defined functions. As you know, some software processes are referenced in multiple places and should be defined as functions to prevent duplicated code. This means the dependency graph will also contain functions and can be more complex. These problems explain the points. The complex dependencies, the complex dependencies leads to unwanted costs of software engineers and missing and redundant dependency caused by human errors. Also, changing table schema leads to dynamic type and schema errors in the dependency graph, such as missing resources, you know, tables, columns, and functions. And, tamp and type mismatch, for example, between string and int. Changing table schema is more complex as in some cases, upstream SQL queries change or change can lead to errors in the downstream SQL queries. Some people might be surprised, but dependency cycles are ha can happen in complex dependency graph. 
you can see in this graph differencing tables as shown by the, the blue arrow can lead to dependency cycle. To solve all these problems, I developed AlphaSQL. The overall architecture of AlphaSQL is like this diagram. First, SQL files are parsed and analyzed by AlphaDAG component. The AlphaDAG component resolves dependencies between the statements, creating table and statements, referencing tables by using static analysis technique. Complex logics can be written like this. In the same way, dependencies between statements creating user-defined functions and statements calling the functions are resolved. Depending on the analyzed dependencies, the alpha component generates a list of external tables referenced by SQL files and DAG in dot language format. Dot language is language for representing graphs. Many programming languages have their package for parsing dot language, and it would be it would be very easy to utilize the output of alpha dot component. Actually, the diagram I have shown uh, generated by Graphit Graphbit GRI2, which can generate graph diagram in many formats from dot language. This complex airflow graph I have shown as an example is also generated automatically by Alpha SQL. Airflow is popular workflow management tool, and the graph can be shown graphically on the Airflow Web GUI, like this. Also, this graph can be executed on the Airflow. This means that Alpha SQL enables automatic parallel execution of SQL queries. So far, I have explained about the Alpha Duck component and the application of its output, such as visualization and parallelization. Next, as a last important component, I would like to explain the Alpha Check component for validation of SQL and data for the whole dependency graph. As I already noted, the validation of SQL of validation of SQL and data is a problem of the whole dependency graph because errors can occur between the whole graph. So the alpha check component checks the SQL queries in the order of dependencies and validates the whole dependency graph by virtually creating, creating tables. In our project, the alpha check components actually validate our SQL queries and data in the process of continuous integration. The results looks like this. In total, 1,532 CI execution results have been collected so far, of which 72% terminate successfully without errors, 14% terminate abnormally due to the errors not related to alpha SQL, and the remaining 40% terminate abnormally due to errors in the alpha SQL analysis. Of the errors caused by alpha SQL, the most common issues were errors due to the SQL not finding the reference tables or databases, with a total of 12% errors. The second most common error was type errors caused by the mismatch of the, of the type of column or function used, with a total of 3%. 
Finally, although very rare, there was one error that indicated that a cycle had occurred in the dependency, be dependency between SQL and tables. This validation result is very helpful because alpha check component only emit errors that will be emitted by type checker in runtime. And we can edit queries and change schema with confidence as the validation guarantees that there is no type and schema errors in the runtime. In this way, the all problem problems I noted was solved. Complex dependency resolution is solved by automatic dependency resolution. Changing table schema and dependency cycles are solved by validation component. Finally, I would summarize current limitations and future of Alpha SQL. The first one is that the Alpha SQL's main target is BigQuery. Alpha SQL uses the same parser with BigQuery and can read most standard SQLs. However, the validation results are not desirable in some SQL systems. In the future version, I'd like to extend Alpha SQL for more flavor of SQL such as Presto and Hive. Also, current Alpha SQL is CLI2 and doesn't have graphical user interface. Although users can edit their queries using their favorite editors and Alpha SQL can generate airflow DAG, it can be bit it can be better with intuitive GUI. As a summary, using Alpha SQL, we can automatically resolve dependencies between plain SQL and data, visualize dependency as DAG, parallelize SQL queries, and validate the whole dependency graph of SQL queries and data. Alpha SQL is an open source software and public on GitHub. You can search Alpha SQL, then visit the repository. You can investigate Alpha SQL more, Alpha SQL more using the document on the top page of top page of the repository. All questions are welcome. Also, I can support you on the Twitter. Thank you for your attention.